This video is to review the polygon angle sum theorem. So let's get started. Uh, first, the, the polygon angle sum theorem says the sum of the measures of the angles of a polygon, and actually that's to be specific, it's the interior angles. Okay, because we'll talk about the exterior angles in the next video. Is the number of sides, that's n, minus 2 times 180. So let's try a couple examples. Let's say you have five sides. Um, you're going to take 5 and subtract 2. Of course, you can do this in your head if you want. I'm just going to write all the steps. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And times 180, that's going to give you 540. So if I had, um, since there's five sides, there'd be five angles. If I had four of them, I could find the missing side. Let's try six sides. We're going to take 6 minus 2 and multiply it by 180. And of course, that's 4 times 180. And it's going to give us 720. And you're all said and done. Okay? And again, we, um, for us to find a missing angle, I need to have five of them. And what I could do is I could add up all five and subtract them from 720 to find a missing angle. But let's go over a few different problems. Uh, the first example is we have how many sides? One, two, three, four, five. That's also known as a pentagon. And you'll see that we have four of the angles. So the best thing to do is just add up all the angle measures. And we've got 100, 80, 75, and 85. And I'm going to go ahead and add we've got 5 and 5, that's 10. Add the 1 up here, we've got 8 and 1, that's 9. 9 and 7 is 16, and 8 is 24. And we've got a 2 up here, and we get 340. Well, we just did the, this. We know that um, if it's 5 minus 2 times 180, the interior angles have to add up three, to 3 times 180, which is 540. So the best thing to do is just go ahead and subtract the total of the four angles that we do have from the amount that they should all add up to with five of them. And what, we, of course, we have left over is 100. And that 100 is the value of this missing angle right here that would complete the all of the angles so that they would total up to 540. All right, so here's another one. Here we have a four-sided figure, also known as a quadrilateral. And we are going to, let's see, we have an 80, a 70, and a 100. Let's go ahead and add those all up. 100, 70, 80. We get 250. Well, what should they add up to? Hmm. Well, it's four sides, so let's use the formula. 4 minus 2 times 180, and that's going to be 2 times 180, and 360. And if you do these a lot, you'll start to just kind of have the values memorized for each of the, the side um, numbers of sides. So they should total up to 360. The 3 that we have add up to 250. So again, I would just go ahead and subtract this 250 from the 360, which is what they should all add up to, and we're going to get 110. And that's the value that we need this missing triangle to be, I'm sorry, this missing angle to be, to be 110. Last, we have one, sometimes if I'm not sure of the size, I'd recommend just doing like a little notch in it. One, two, three, four, five. Another five-sided figure. Well, I just did this over here in problem number one, so I'm not going to do it again. I know that if it's five sides, it's 5 minus 2 times 180, and it's going to be need it total up to 540. Okay? Well, this is very interesting. I have I don't have one missing angle. I've got two with algebraic expressions. So what I'm going to do is um, basically just total up everything I have, which is 80 plus 110 plus 140, plus 3x, plus 4x. That's all five of the angles, and they have to equal 540. So 
So let me do a little simplifying here. I've got 80 plus 110, that's 190. And 190 plus 140, well, let's see, that should be 330. So 330, 3x plus 4x is 7x. And that all equals 540. So let me go ahead and use my little algebra here. I'm going to subtract 330 from both sides. I'm going to run out of room, I think. And oops, let me bring down my 7x equals 210. Well, it looks to me like x equals 30. Right? Once I have that, um, it does say find the missing angle measures, which means I need to substitute this value of 30 make that a better looking 30. That's kind of messy. Um, I'm going to substitute that back in. This is better. Okay, so instead of 3x, I've got 3 times 30, or 90 degrees. And 4 times x is 4 times 30. That's 120. And what I could do is go ahead and add these all up. I already know my numbers all added up to 330. The three that I did have. So I'm going to go ahead and add on 90 and 120 to verify that I end up with 540. So I'm putting down a zero. Three plus nine, that's 12. Plus another two, that's 14. So I'm going to carry the one, and I get, I do get 540. So it looks like that worked out. Let's try some more. Um, let's talk about a regular polygon. A regular polygon just means that all sides are congruent. Okay, and all the angles are congruent. Um, so what's the measure of an interior angle of a regular hexagon? Well, a hexagon has got, that's eight sides. So what I need to do is figure out what they all need to add up to, and then I'm going to divide them by the number of angles. So for each side, I'm going to have an angle. So let's see. We've got eight sides. Let's try the formula. It was n minus 2 times 180. Okay, so instead of n, I have 6. I'm sorry, 8. So it's 8 minus 2 times 180. And we've got 6 times 180. And let's go ahead and do a little multiplying here. 6 times 8 is 48. Bring up the 4. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 4 is 10. So the, um, all of the 8 sides should um, add up to 1,080. But I have 8 sides. So let me go ahead and figure out what each individual side would be by taking the grand total of 1,080 I'm going to divide it by the eight sides to figure out what they each must be. Okay, so eight goes into ten once, and that bring, I'm going to bring down my two. I've got twenty-eight. Eight goes into twenty-eight three times, and I get twenty-four. I'm going to bring down a four, and then my zero. I've got forty. Eight goes into forty five times. So my each individual angle is going to have a measure of 135. So those are just a few of the problems that you might have when you are covering the section on regular polygons. And I'll, next I'll be working on the exterior angles of polygons.